This video is sponsored by World of Warships. Ever since the start of build about the water has looked exactly the same. The same color, the same texture, absolutely nothing has changed. But we're going to be doing something about that. We're going to build our very own custom water animation. It's going to go up and down and it's going to be crazy. Now, I've seen people do something very much like this, but I want to build my very own. So we're going to start completely from scratch. And first things first, we're going to have to figure out exactly how big it is we want this water to be. So starting things off, I think what I'm going to do is try to make it the exact size of the plot because that way I can easily move a piece over the entirety of the water and turn the entire water crazy. All right, so that right there should be big enough and we can actually build this as far out as we want, but I don't know if we have to. All right, so one thing we're going to need for sure is uh, a lot of water. Now, the block that's actually most commonly used for water is sand. Now, sadly, this is actually a pretty hard block to get your hands on. It doesn't come in any of the chests. The only only way you can get it is by actually buying it with gold and it's one of the more expensive blocks now i'm gonna spend literally all the gold i have to get even more sand because i'm gonna need it so yeah by making it super super thin we can actually get away with covering all of this without using many blocks at all but before we do that i want to thank today's sponsor world of warships world of warships is a free-to-play naval shooter game available on pc it has more than 40 unique maps with dynamic weather effects and they have just updated to stunning new water effects and textures that make the game city look nearly identical to real life. Try your hand at one of the many ship classes from battleships to destroyers, aircraft carriers, or even cruisers. And if you're feeling extra crazy, dive in with the submarines. They update the game with new content every month, whether it's new ships, classes, or even entire nations. You can team up with friends or play as a lone wolf. But either way, you can always count on enjoying fresh new gameplay in World of Warships' massive 12v12 arenas. Oh, and did I mention that it's also available on consoles? Yes, guys, download World of Warships right now by clicking the first link in the video description. And when you do, make sure to use promo code BRAVO to get some exclusive rewards entirely for free. That's the wrong color. That's the wrong color. Now, I'm going to have to nail this exact color, but this should do for now. All right, we're going to move this up quite a bit because what we want to do is we want to create some space below here because this is where the whole wave mechanic is going to go. So actually, I'm going to get rid of that whole plane of water for now. Uh, I was thinking about it. It's going to make it very hard to work on the mechanics while that's there. So uh, let's see exactly how it is that we're going to be able to do this. So there's a couple different things we can do. One thing I've seen quite a bit is people actually using pistons that move up at a different speed to create a very similar effect to a wave. But sadly, the entire water would be doing that. I don't know if I love that look. So what I want to see is if I could actually create some randomness. And I think the way I'm going to do that is by placing a piston with a block with a hinge on the side. And then what I can do is actually place a spring on top of that. And I think with this mechanic, I can move a part very wave-like. So let's see. All right, let's unanchor all of this stuff and let's try it out. So I move this down and oh, oh it's trying. Okay, I don't know if I should be using the springs right now. Okay, let me try that again. All right, let's see. I move this up. Ah, what is it doing? Huh? I move this up. Why did it? Wait, what? How is that even possible? All right, let's try that one more time. <laughs> Okay, there you go. As you guys can see, I can now actually move exactly the position of this piece however I want. And I can make like some pretty cool wave-like effects. Ah! All right, this is good. This is good. Now, preferably, I was able to do all of these mechanics into a single block. Because if I was able to do that, I could actually copy this over and over again. And that way, pretty much create an entire ocean. So, you know what? Let's just give it a try. We're going to take this and scale this down all the way to 0 0.1. We're going to move this bang all the way that way is this still connected no okay we're gonna have to make sure that it's still on the piston there you go barely the water needs to go right there so it's all the way around and on top like so then i'm gonna go ahead and place a servo inside of here like so and scale this so that way it matches the servo's height and with there you go now we actually somehow have some room to spare so very nice uh i'm gonna go in right here place another metal block and do the same thing but on the other side all right i think that's it with this little piece right here if I actually uh, delete that one right there, take this and duplicate it just like so. All I need to do is delete the water and move that all the way over to the other side. Okay. Okay. I I'm going to delete the floor. <laughs> okay. So what I'm actually going to go ahead and do is I'm going to move this two blocks over or 0 0.2 blocks over just like so. And then I can actually scale this down just like that. Got it. Okay. Perfect. Because then there is still space for an entire block inside. And then the water can be scaled downwards. Okay. Save this. <laughs> Whatever. We're going to just have to try it out. So uh, let's see. I think this right here should 
should actually work. Okay, it did not work. It, it broke. Okay, the side pieces just aren't attached. Okay, I, I can fix that. I can fix that. All right, cool. All right, there we go. Now, if I move this one up. Oh, yes! The thing goes crooked. That is exactly what I wanted to see. Oh, my. Oh, that's perfect. All right, that is the first layer completed. Now, what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to go ahead and place a uh, delay block right there and right there and link the piston to the delay. Then I'm going to go ahead and take this little part right here and clone it. Oh, I got to be careful here to make sure that it doesn't touch. All right, that is not touching, but that does not look very good. All right, I'm going to have to try something else. Okay, yeah, that, that amount of space in between looks a little bit more like it. Oh, just to make sure, let's actually test to see that it can still move individually. Like, make sure that they're not actually stuck together. Oh, I think they are. Hmm. All right, yes! Okay, that is exactly what we wanted to see. So guys, right now, even when you fully extend these pistons and make the waters as crazy as possible, as you can see, there's no part of this that actually looks like, uh, you know, mechanics and pistons. It all looks like water. Yes! Okay, now we're gonna have to make this the size of the entire plot. So, uh, oh boy. <laughs> All right, let's do this, baby. All right, that is now in place. Now, where I earlier put the actual uh, delay block, uh, I'm going to move that to underneath. So yeah, put that right there. And I'm actually going to have to move this entire part right here all the way to the other side of the block. All right, that's good. And I'm pretty sure this should actually work. If it doesn't, I'm going to be very mad. Put that right there. All right, link that to that. Boom. And link that to that. <sighs> okay, now I should just have to clone this as many times as I can because, of course, I don't have infinite water blocks, uh, but I have a lot of them, so should be able to do this at least a lot of times. 2.42. Now we're gonna clone. Now it looks like these are, like, actually touching, but if you look really closely, there is just a big enough gap in between there that they are not touching. Oh my god, dude, this is this is already starting to look absolutely bonkers, man. Alright, let's just keep cloning until we get no longer. Dude, we are, we are doing a lot of surface area right here, man. Oh my god. Okay, I must run out soon, right? Okay, this is getting... This is actually getting crazy. Wait, what? Okay, it seems like we might actually even be able to do the entire plot. Well, I thought we were only going to be able to do a couple. Oh, okay. Well, there is the end. That is the most amount that I can do. But that is almost the entire plot. Dude, look at that water, man. Okay, that's actually insane. All right. Now, as you can see, all of these pistons are already linked to one of these delay blocks. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to have to connect every single delay block to the next one. So this should take a little bit of time, but it shouldn't be too bad. I should just have to do this a lot of times. Oh, yeah. I'm going to do this for both sides. All right. That should be every single one of them now linked. Okay, dude. I think we're going to just go ahead and do our very first test run. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right, select all, except this part in the middle here. And an anchor! Oh, oh God. Okay, <laughs> I, dropped, I dropped the platform as well, but that's okay. All right, let's see. I'm going to activate this. Oh, okay, it's moving things. It's moving things! Oh, this is pretty good. Okay, it's not actually retracting it, so I'm going to give it another spin. Uh, get, guys, keep in mind that this right now is going very slowly, much slower than it actually uh, would in the, in the final product. <laughs> also, the pistons are moving too fast, so I'm going to set the piston speed to one. Okay, we have definitely created our very first wave, dude. Let's go! Okay, now for the exciting part. And actually, I'm going to select everything and just turn off collision because it shouldn't actually need collision. All right, then. Now, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to create the right clock. Uh, it needs to actually, of course, move things in a manner that looks kind of like water. All right, so we're going to place two. Actually, wait. No, we're not going to place those right here. All right, right here, we're going to have to build a clock. So place two of those. And then we're going to place an extra two right there. And those will control each individual thing. So we're going to go right here and we're going to select these two and make them go into each other. Then this one goes into there and there. And then that goes all the way over to there. And that one goes all the way over the right here. Shkabang. All right, so what I'm going to do, this one currently has a delay of one. And I'm actually going to set this to 1.2. So that way, the right side activates 0.2 seconds later. So that way, there's a little bit of like funky movement in there. And I think with that, we can give this a proper try, okay? <laughs> oh, I'm excited. Three, two, one, on anchor. Nothing broke. Okay, that's good. Uh, and we're going to, we're going to activate it. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's going. Oh, as you guys can see. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 it's good. Okay, it's going way too fast. It's going back and forth way too fast. The lay on that needs to be way longer. Um, eight seconds. <laughs> okay, now we're just having like very rough waters. Oh my goodness me. Okay, now it's just all up and all down. Okay, I'm uh, I'm gonna have to do something about this. <laughs> okay, so I'm actually gonna have to add in a second uh, delay block here. I'm gonna set this one to uh, like eight because that was way too fast. Uh, yeah, here, let's go. We're gonna grab another delay block. We're gonna place that right there on each side. And then this one is gonna go into there. And 
that also into there. So that way it kind of gets like a double pulse uh, and that should actually make it so it doesn't just keep on staying up all the time. And we can change the delay on that as much as we want. And that should be able to allow us to make it perfect. All right, let's save. Let's try it again. <sighs> okay, here we go for the moment of truth. Oh, it's actually doing. Oh, it's actually doing things. Oh, that's cool. And it's like kind of crooked. Okay, here, I'm going to set the delay on this to 1.5. So that way it's even more like funky. Okay, it's now too short of a pulse. We're going to have to change the delay on these two to make it longer. Uh, make it two. We want to kind of create like a smooth ripple effect, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, wait, I think I know what the problem is. Okay, select all. Piston length is way too long. It needs to be like four. Okay, that's already a lot better. Okay, this needs to be now way longer. Okay. <laughs> Dude, the game is lagging so much that it doesn't even look good, man. All right, I uh, broke everything. All right, here, let's try this shorter piece. All right, let's try that one more time. Uh, let's hope it's gonna go a little bit better this time. It did not go a lot better. <laughs> All right, let's try it out. Okay, now it's actually doing things, uh, which is good. The pulse is just way too short still, so we're gonna have to change these to five. And I like the idea of actually mixing this delay up a bunch, like having it like a two. So that way they're really like messed up and crooked. Yes, that is starting to look like wavy water to me. Let's go. I should be able to make actually collision on everything. I turned it off just because I wanted to make sure that it wasn't going to lag. This is actually pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, guys, we right now have like a wave pool that's going to eat indefinitely forever and ever. Keep on waving. Now, guys, sadly, I don't think it's going to be possible to cover the entire water with this stuff because it already nearly crashed the game just being like half a plot long. <laughs> uh, but hey, what I'm going to do anyway is build a giant boat on top because why not? Okay, it's a little bit hard to build Build on moving water. Let's head off into the ocean. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's a complete disaster. Oh, my goodness. I fell through the water. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, guys. Uh, note to self, doing anything with pistons can get quite laggy. Now, even though my water filled, make sure to check out World of Warships. Uh, their water, definitely. And I can guarantee you this looks a whole lot better. There's a link in the description. 